Welcome back to Crazy Bill's Garage. Today I'm going to show you something that I believe was poorly designed. And, well, I'll show you the new one I did get. This is for my wife's 2013 Jeep Wrangler. It is the oil cooler filter housing, oil filter housing for her Jeep. It sits underneath the intake manifold, by the way. <sighs> what a job that was to get that out. And uh, it sits down there in the valley. And I think this is a terrible design. And I can't believe Chrysler okayed this. And they made it out of plastic. So that for sure you would have to change it out one day. Now making it out of plastic, not a great idea. I think it was a terrible idea. But uh, it's what they did. I don't care if these covers, you know, these things are made out of plastic. But why make the whole thing out of plastic? And the in, in thing is, that, that engine has over 200,000 kilometers. Um, it's 11 years old. This thing's been leaking at least for a few years. Oil and antifreeze out of the bottom. And it, it has a crack in it. Like, I, there is a crack along here somewhere where it's just been leaking. And... Look at the bottom of this thing. Like, wow. Um, this is just a poor design. Um, it was leaking right around here, right where this seal is. This thing is kind of warped. So, of course, it, uh, it leaked. And it leaked a lot of oil and antifreeze. And it was just pouring out of there. And... It's got sensors on it here. I don't need to take those off. The new one had it with them. I'll take them off to save them, though. I'll probably just save this whole unit anyways. But it's got the new updated design on the new one. So that it has an anti-drain back valve, finally. This one always started, when you started at a cold start, you could hear the lifters smacking away. Before oil got pumped up. I never liked that. I always hated that, <laughs> but that's the way it was with the, this design. This is brutal. Um, it was leaking, like I said, antifreeze. I believe antifreeze, antifreeze. Uh, or is that oil? No, I think that's antifreeze. It was, you can see the discoloration here on it to show that antifreeze was being leaked through it. I believe this one is oil, oil maybe oil i think it's oil that's a drain back i'm sure this one's the drain back here i'm not sure but i'm going to show you the new design which is in my opinion much better and the way the engineers should have designed this thing in the first place because that's terrible so i'll grab the new one here and we'll take a look at that so there's the new one pretty thing really nice you can see it's probably designed a lot better um there is differences in fact this one's going to be much stronger and uh that fell off where this one uh was punched up here a bit so that it pushed it away from the block this one is raised up a bit. It's like they know they had to do a little better on uh, making sure this one had better contact. So they moved it a little higher up. So I find that to be kind of an interesting design. Because this heaved and moved up and oil started to leak out. Very uh, sufficiently, by the way. Um... We'll see the different filter. It does have different filter uh, housings. And you see this filter has the anti-drain back plug in it. So this one will not drain back all the oil. And you will not get a dry, dry start. That is something I'm looking forward to in her Jeep. And I'm not looking forward to putting it back in though. But... <laughs> But everything's cleaned up now. It should go a whole lot better. Uh, this one came with the new, new sensors and everything. And instead of having uh, back here, 
where it is plastic and starting to get brittle it has a aluminum and this one is nice aluminum now this one is kind of well sad to say it is built in, built in china but the build quality is so nice i decided to get it for the wife's jeep and use this one so um the new one should work a lot better with the new type of filter that uh see i can't even use oh i can't use the filter housing from even the old one because the old one is a lot shorter than the new one hopefully you can see that so it's a lot shorter so you can't use it you can't use the filters you bought for your old one but since i bought a ton of filters for uh, this new type here because i did a video on uh, those uh, cartridge filters you can find it in there under oil filters uh, in my playlist that uh, yeah well i have quite a few and i have enough for a few years to come so looking forward to getting this one back in not looking forward to actually you know uh, putting it in but i'm pretty sure this filter or uh sensor right here is an oil pressure sensor i'm not sure about this one i could have looked it up but i'm not sure about it but there we go that is uh what i'm putting into the wife's jeep and why this one was a total fail when it came to chrysler putting the 3.6 together man there's a lot of plastic parts on that jeep that i just don't see why they were used other than a cost cutting measure um a lot of things that were cheap and we've changed quite a bit of it over to a few other different types of aluminum and steel parts on that jeep so we had to do it and we want it to last a little bit longer than a few years and i see why they do it so that they can get you in and get service done on your vehicle and then they can charge you more money but that's the service industry of buying a vehicle nowadays that's what they want you to do well we're off topic uh what can i say uh i'm gonna change this we'll get it running well hopefully there will be no more dry starts and uh I'd be, I'll be very happy with this. If you want to see somebody putting one of these in, uh, I believe Mr. Goody put one in. Look up Mr. Goody on YouTube. Very nice fellow. Very good fellow. And uh, yeah, he uh, he did one of these on a 3.6. So look him up if you need to see how one is actually uh, put in. And he did a very fantastic job of that. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, well, yeah, just thanks for watching.